Hey guys, it's Tamir from Microvillum. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to model the circular column here in AutoCAD and how to convert this to a Microvillum product with our solid model analyzer. So first of all, I'm just going to come to my drop down here and just change to a top view and I'm just going to move over here a little bit. So under my little draw icon here, I've got a circle. So I'm just going to draw an AutoCAD circle with a radius of 500 millimeters here. So in a plan view here, I'm just going to come down and get our draw rectangle. And what we're going to do is key in 18,80. And that's going to be our rib size there. So it's coming up to our modify menu. I can just come up here and go to our move. So I'm going to just select what we want to move and hit enter. I can just choose our midpoint here. What you'll notice here, it's not quite snapping to the point of a circle where I want. So I can hold down shift and right click and turn on any on snaps that aren't per permanently on. So now you'll notice it's snapping right to where I want it to be. So here's my rib. What I need to do now is draw a polyline path around here of where I want my tool path to be. So if I just snap to this point here, I'm just going to come down 68 mil, going to come out 12 mil this way, down 12 mil, across 42 mil here, up 12 mil. So you can see I've got my tool relief and I'm just going to snap to these last points here. What we need to do now is just select this polyline path here. I'm just going to extend that by 5 mil here. And what we want to do is just create a bit of a relief in there. So under our modify menu, I come down to my offset and I can key in 0.2 off a mil. Then just choose what side of a line I want to go. So now I can delete this and you'll notice here's my tool path here. So the tool's going to come in and around and up here, just squaring out these corners here. And here's my rib, my vertical rib. So what I'm going to do here is just come in and under my modify menu, I've got my array command here. Just going to window over what I want to array. And then I'm going to right click to enter and just choose our polar array here. And just click to the center there, which is going to equally array that around the circle. So I've got six entities there. So I'm happy with the spacing there. So this is still part of an array, which isn't any good for what I need to do next. So if I come to my modify menu here and come down to my explode. So just choose any any one of these. And I've just now exploded that array. So now everything's a separate entity. I'm just going to come back to our modify menu. And I'm just going to move these vertical ribs out of the way here. So just selecting these here. I'm just going to move this out here five meters, get, get those nice and out of the way. So now that that's done, last thing to do in this plan view here is just use our offset and again 150 mil and just offset that border here. So here's our rib, here's our cutouts and here's our internal cutout there. And it's going to come down to our view selection and just go back to our southwest isometric. Under here, I can go to my modeling and to press pull. So what I need to do is just click anywhere within that internal boundary. I'm just going to left click in there. I'm going to key in my thicknesses here. So it's important that your thicknesses match the material thickness that you want to cut this out of. So you can see I've extruded this up. I'm just going to come into here and just use my copy command. 500, 1000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select these vertical ribs here. And I'm just going to move those. Actually, what I'll do first, sorry, just to make this easy, I'm just going to come in and extrude these up. Up here to that top height there. And now I can get these here and just move these back into position. So what you'll notice here is I've just got that AutoCAD solid. This isn't yet a microvillain product. So what I'm going to do now is come over to our solid modeling tools and I'm just going to come over here to our solid model analyzer. So I'm just going to hit W and then enter just to window over the selection. So this is basically selecting what I want to analyze. I'm going to hit OK. And what that's going to do now is solid model analyze um, all of the parts in here. So it's scanning 
uh, your machine posts for all of your tool diameters. So if you have a 5mm tool diameter or a 5mm hole in your solid, it's going to assign that 5mm drill to it. So what's happened now is it's identified its first material thickness up here, saying that it's 80mm thick. So you literally just have to choose what you're assigning to it, which in this case is 80mm MDF, and go ahead and hit OK. So here we've got some different placement options. Um, save to current project and draw and drawing. This is going to be your most common one. Save to current project, save to current project and process to work order. Um, save to selected project and save to the library. So we're just going to hit OK and sort of just pick where we want to put this. I'm just going to left click over here. And here's my full, fully nestable, machinable microvillain product. So I can come into here onto my part properties and go through and, and name all of these if I wish. I can come to my modify menu and draw any of these parts down into 2D and apply further machining to these here. So you'll notice it's got all of those cutouts, all of those tool reliefs, it's good to go. Thank you for watching.